We are at the Whopper Extension office uh, in Tucson, Arizona, and these are the Mester Garner Demonstration Gardens. Broke up into 14 different themed gardens within the property here. We have gardens that focus on roses, cactus and succulent, xeriscape, shade, basin edibles. We have a propagation area and beyond. We are adjacent to Campbell Avenue, um, just south of the Rideau River here. A lot of times I tell people we are across the street from the Trader Joe's, um, and they go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when I first came here, it unfortunately seemed to feel like a research facility or something as you drive by, but that's not the case. These gardens are free and open to the public during daylight hours, like a public park would be. So uh, not only can you come and learn something here, but you can also uh, just hang out and enjoy the, the surroundings with your family. Assess where the saguaro is going to get the biggest blast. It is a volunteer run operation. Um, we could not exist without the donation of time and expertise from hundreds of people every year. Uh, we have 14 different outreach programs in addition to these gardens that need to be maintained on a weekly basis. It ends up being a, a lot of work. We're a big organization and uh, we, we need those master gardeners to, to get things done. Hello. Hi, Angie. Hi, how are you? Okay, how sweetie, you how are you doing? Angela Powers, uh, she's one of my favorite master gardener volunteers. Angela holds the, uh, the title of the longest serving master gardener um, in our program. She came to us in 1990 and is still here uh, helping us uh, reach the public uh, today. I'm 83 years old, going in 84. <laughs> I went to see my daughter today at the physical, and he says, uh, I'm perfect. <laughs> so as long as he said that I'm perfect, I continue. Well, the favorite is roses. Why? Because I, I love to work with roses. They talk to me. I can see if they need some help, believe it or not. You see when they are droopy, and you can see how to perk the roses. When they need to be trimmed, when the, maybe they had aphids, maybe they had uh, different kind of uh, disease. Uh, so you look for the stuff, what you see in the roses. The Rose Garden was established by Lauren Kattenbach, a longtime master gardener. Unfortunately, we lost Lauren in 2018. The garden features 40 different varieties of roses there. Some of those plants are 25 years old. They are in very prolific bloom right now. It's really remarkable. The gardens here are a, an outreach effort by the Pima County Master Gardeners for the community. I like to kind of phrase it that way because sometimes people think that these gardens exist for the Master Gardeners to be learning in. That's not the case. You know, we want people to come here and take a look and see what we're doing and know that everything that we do here is based on research from uh, the University of Arizona and other institutions, and so that if they like what they see, they can try it in their backyard. It's personal satisfaction. So this is another extension of the creativity that one has in their soul, and it helps you to uh, release it. I love working with people, sharing my knowledge with them, and also creating beautiful things.
the flowers. Yes, you come here, you forget about what is going on everywhere. This is different. This is something that you enjoy doing. I always say the plants talk to you. If you leave them, they will talk to you.